Say so, right, so first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Kakadash. We say the man is a person, and Elohim is a great Muslim, and Ruba, the teachers of a person in shoot. And we say salutation, so the Akim, and so they push, we know truth and sincerity, day in and day out, and constantly in season and season, we say Shalom. And once again, going into a video here, and it's basically touching upon this post, right? Now, going into the post, you would see it's basically a man wearing on a woman outfit. Now, this person reposted the picture. And I put this is Huey, um, not Huey, Riley, right? Riley from um from the Boondocks, right? And it, it, it was basically an episode where he was falling a rapper wearing on woman clothes, and basically th that is that is what these men are literally. Th these men are do basically doing the same thing, you know. These celebrities, these artists, these athletes, these singers, these actors, they wearing on these women clothes, and these men are following them, believing it's a trend believing is a new style and so forth and so on right um so but according to the scriptures a man not supposed to be wearing on these things right and um when you look at the word feminine right these men have become so feminine when you look at the word feminine right it means having qualities or an appearance traditionally associated with women or girls and these men have become feminine the qualities, the way they talk, the way they speak, the way they act, the way they think, right? The way they behave, um, their parents, the, the way they dress, right? You know, the paint in the fingernails, these men and them wearing on the skirts, you know, the long blouses, the, the, the hair, everything that everything that they're doing is feminine, right? I would say having qualities or an, or an appearance traditionally associated with women or girls, right? And when you watch this picture here, this is the picture that, that basically you see you, can, you see him smoking, wearing on some wait this wait, 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 what brand is this? Chanel? Or is Chanel Soul, yeah? <laughs> wow. Right? You know, let's just go and look up what they call um let's go and look up what they call a cigarette in England. And that is what this man is. <laughs> you see? Watch out. Watch out uh address he went on address you know a purse on the side right this and this would usually when you see this kind of attire this would have been worn on women right but now the men wearing it on you know and pro and, and showing it off like if it's some some brand like if it's some you know some some nice thing to to wear right now let me go to our scripture here Right, um, effeminate. Oh, shit. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9. It said, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. Right, effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Now, when I look, no, no, when I look at the word effeminate, it says. You go to the definite. You go to the to the meaning. Um, you say malakos, ma malakos, malakos, right? It says soft, soft to touch, metaphorically in a bad sense, effeminate, effeminate. It say of a catamite, of a bo of a boy kept of. Um, I hope when I see this, I hope the video again. You say. Of a boy kept of homosexual relations with a man, right? Of a male who submits his body to unnatural lewdness, of a male prostitute. It's a, it's a soft, right? Right. Um. Now let me go to. Yes, no, something before I bring this here. Something I wanted to get here. So when I look up catamite, right? It means a boy kept of homosexual practices. <laughs> so even when you look up catamite, because it did say if um if a minute say you have a catamite, you say in ancient Greece and Rome, a catamite was a um pub a pubescent boy who was the intimate companion of an older male usually in a relationship 
<laughs> so <laughs> you can see and, and again some of these these guys have been exposed that the reason why they were in on these designers is because they have what they just call it <laughs> a sugar daddy right man this is a, 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 a weakness you know they have been exposed to or to the times where these men the reason why they went on the, the designers the the brand names are driving the best is because they have been with men you know and older men you know son so it's these edomites as well you know using using jake right and again these 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 israelites all they like is a brand they, you know they show off the to post on the social media and so forth this this what just this this look like anything righteous this look like anything this this look like anything a man should be wearing on <laughs> so going to going back to the to the google right um it's effeminate 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 right it say with a reference to a man it's a having characteristics and ways of behaving traditionally associated with women and regarded as inappropriate for a man and it is regarded inappropriate for a man right so it's, it's things that would, would have been traditionally associated with women that a man not supposed to be taking part in you're not supposed to be doing not supposed to be wearing and so forth so going back to the scripture right it says what it said be not deceived it said know ye not that that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of god the unrighteous right it said be not deceived neither fornicators nor adulterers nor adulterers nor effeminate no abusers of themselves with mankind and said if no effeminate they're not going to inherit the kingdom of god right because being an effeminate is what it, it is considered unrighteous it is considered unrighteous so these are things that a man is supposed to be um, partaken in when the lord say when the lord say um ye men ye men have a call right that's what people are phrasing or to show yourself as a man when you look up the word man, it has certain characteristics to it. Matter of fact, let me see if I could get that. Right? Let me look at the word man. Show you how certain words mean certain things, right? Let me see if I could get it here. Let's give them one minute. Um, right, uh, let me get it. Um, so when you look at this, this is a quick Google search, right? When you type in man characteristics. It's a confident, integrity, kindness, right? Um, it's a courage, leadership, emotional intelligence, right? Um, this is not even the one that, uh, that, that, that. <laughs> it's at a time that I had it here. I had, a, I had a good good a good certain characteristic about a man it's a competitive curious independent strong strong right vigorous high need of power right discipline confidence you know and certain things that but it had a better when i at that time i did a video going into characteristics of a man it has some better meanings right um and literally it wouldn't be this this man this a man a man wouldn't be wearing on these shit you know a man wouldn't be wearing on these 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 things let me let's go to our next scripture here um
This is Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Right? They say, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are, are abomination unto the Lord thy God. It's abomination. So that's why when we say that these, these men are abominations, because, hey, that's, that, that is according to the scriptures. What, what these kind of men? These showing in men. Imagine all these men going and be in a time that we're heading into. You know? In the time that we're heading into, chaos gonna break off. These 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 men gonna be more women than the women, right? So you say the the woman shall not wear which wear that which pertains unto a man, and that's going into pants, right? She's not supposed to be wearing any pants, because no no you see, and I sort of show how certain things is like when a woman wearing her pants, all of a sudden she will be the man. She's the man of the house, you know. Sometimes sometimes she just tell the man, I wear only pants here. I call it shots. So it's just to show you how that's certain, like it has certain characteristics to even that. Right? And it says, Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination to the Lord. For all that do these things are an abomination to the Lord. You know? Just watch this. Man, yo. Yo. And this is the kind of man, this is the kind of men it have outside it right now. Just being effeminate. You know? <laughs> Being, you know the word, the G word, you understand? These men are not men, you painting in the nails, the way all they want to do the hair, you know. As some, as someone said recently, just now these men going to sort of wear eyelashes, and I wouldn't doubt it if they're already doing it already and saying it's a style. But these kind of things, is unrighteousness in the sight of the Lord. Being this particular way is unrighteousness. Right? And it is an abomination unto the Lord thy God. You know, when on woman clothes, you become an abomination. You know, it, you know, it have a trend on these things like TikTok and, and, and YouTube and Facebook and these things where uh, 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 the, the, the man switching to the woman clothes and the woman switching to the man clothes. Just doing that, they become abominable. Just, just, make, uh, just make a joke out of sin. You know? Hey. Yo, I'm going to just read some of the comments before I close off. <laughs> uh, just imagine a woman telling him, can I get a tampon please? Because it's just to show you what, what is associated with men that wear these things. Right? Ah, look, look, look this person here. This is stop cross-dressing. And he put the same Deuteronomy. He said, bro, I get what you're saying, but men wore skirts in those days. Just saying, there's a reason why it was written. Right? There's a reason why it was written, because it's, it's breaking a law. You know, look at the next quote for here. You say, you say, God was a, you know? Yo. What is called for be? When it comes to the word of the Lord. See? Smoking a cigarette is crazy. Holding it like a bitch. Yes. Yo. Hey. This is again. This is... This, this is... Uh, this is uh, <laughs> as someone said, the FBI win. <laughs> That's what the men have become. Hey. So with that, we give all praises and glory to Yahweh. By Shemi Oshai, by Shemi Kakudash, we see them as a person, and as a great Muslim rule, it teaches our person should, and we see salutation and solely acclimate to the push from the truth and society, day in and day out, in a constantly, in season and season, we say, Shalom.